Good evening and welcome to Christchurch Cathedral, Newcastle, where this service of evening prayer for Saturday evening is being recorded. My name is Catherine Boyer. I'm the Dean of Newcastle and I acknowledge that this cathedral stands on a Wabical land which was never ceded. I pay my respects to elders past and present and pray that I with the cathedral community may join with them in a spirit of reconciliation in caring for all that God has entrusted to us in the good gifts of creation. Today throughout the world the church gives thanks for the witness of the martyrs of Japan. Almost 50 years after Francis Xavier had arrived in Japan as its first Christian apostle, the presence of several thousand baptised Christians in the land became a subject of suspicion to the ruler Hideyoshi, who soon began a period of persecution. 26 men and women, religious and lay, were first mutilated, then crucified near Nagasaki in 1597, the most famous of whom was Paul Miki, priest. After their martyrdom, their blooded clothes were kept and held in reverence by their fellow Christians. The period of persecutions continued for another 35 years, many new witness martyrs being added to their number. This beautiful banner is the work of Jan Clark, fabric artist, and the gift of the descendants of Bishop Stretch. Bishop Stretch was Dean of this cathedral and then Bishop of the Diocese during World War I. And during that time, one of his children, a son, was killed in World War I. We give thanks for the generosity of the Stretch family for this banner. And we also give thanks for the inspiration and witness of Philip Thurwell Priest, now deceased, who was a passionate advocate for peace and who advocated for peace banners and signs of peace in this cathedral church. This is one of three banners we have in the cathedral which are dedicated to peace. And we give thanks today for the witness of all peacemakers and pray for those who work for reconciliation and peace. Saturday evening prayer is found on page 422 of the prayer book. Our reading is from Luke's Gospel and our Psalms tonight are Psalms 85 and 87. In the name of God, Creator, Redeemer and Sanctifier, Amen. Grace to you and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, A Song of the Shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He shall make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup shall be full. Surely your goodness and loving kindness shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalms 85 and 87. Psalm 85 is on page 311. Psalm 85. O Lord, you were gracious to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. 
You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered all their sin. You put aside all your wrath and turned away from your fierce indignation. Return to us again, O God, our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you stretch out your wrath from one generation to another? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will hear what the Lord God will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful ones whose hearts are turned to him. Truly his salvation is near to those that fear him, and his glory shall dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall flourish out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will also give us all that is good, and our land shall yield its plenty. For righteousness shall go before him, and tread the path before his feet. Psalm 87 He has founded it upon a holy hill, and the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things shall be spoken of you, O Zion, city of our God. I might speak of my kindred in Egypt or in Babylon, in Philistia, Tyre or Nubia, where each was born. But of Zion it shall be said, many were born in her. He that is most high has established her. When the Lord draws up the record of the nations, he shall take note where everyone was born. And the singers and the dancers together shall make their song to your name. Lord Christ, eternal word and light of the Father's glory, send your light and your truth that we may both know and proclaim your word of life to the glory of God the Father. For you now live and reign, God, for all eternity. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3. beginning at verse 23. Jesus was about 30 years old when he began his work. He was the son, as was thought, of Joseph, son of Heli, son of Matat, son of Levi, son of Melchi, son of Janai, son of Joseph, son of Mattathias, son of Amos, son of Nahum, son of Esli, son of Nagai, son of Maath, son of Mattathias, son of Semain, son of Josek, son of Hoda, son of Hohanan, son of Resa, son of Zerubbabel, son of Sheatil, son of Neri, son of Melchi, son of Adai, son of Kosan, son of Elmadam, son of Ur, son of Joshua, son of Eliezer, son of Joram, son of Matat, son of Levi, son of Simeon, son of Judah, son of Joseph, son of Jonam, son of Eliakim, son of Melia, son of Mena, son of Mattatha, son of Nathan, son of David, son of Jesse, son of Obed, son of Boaz, son of Salah, son of Nashon, son of Am Aminadab, son of Admin, son of Ani, son of Hezron, son of Perez, son of Judah, son of Jacob, son of Isaac, son of Abraham, son of Terah, son of Nahor, son of Serug, son of Reu, son of Peleg, son of Eber, son of Shelah, son of Canaan, son of Arphaxad, Arphaxad, son of Shem, son of Noah, 
son of Lamech, son of Methuselah, son of Enoch, son of Jareb, son of Mahaleleu, son of Canaan, son of Enos, son of Seth, son of Adam, son of God. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle, the Easter anthems. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin, and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For since by one man came death, by another has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Almighty God, by whose grace and power your holy martyrs triumphed over suffering and were faithful even to death. Grant that we, who now remember them in thanksgiving, may be so faithful in our witness to you in this world that, may, that we may receive with them the crown of everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Eternal God, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. It is you who knit us and form us together, and it is you who call us home to that place where we rejoice with you forever. This night we pray for all that has been, for all that this week has held, the joys and sorrows, the good and the bad. As we offer our thanksgivings to you, we are thankful not only for the ways in which we saw you in the times of gladness, but we also thank you that you are with us in the times of sadness. We pray for those who are called to lead. We pray for those who lead your church, for Peter, our Bishop, Sonia and Charlie, our Assistant Bishops, Arthur and Rod, our Archdeacons. We pray for your church as it prepares to celebrate the resurrection tomorrow morning to proclaim with joy your hope for the world. We pray for those who are unable to gather through illness, through oppression, through disaster, through distance. We pray for those who are pondering this night if their words will be enough. Give them the assurance that you are in the words. We pray for those this night 
who grieve, give them your assurance that you are with them in their suffering. We pray this night for those for whom the night does not bring comfort and rest, for those who will have nowhere to lay their heads, for those for whom sleep will be elusive, for those who will work this night to keep us safe, for those who will watch and wait this night with those they love, for those who will watch and wait this night fearful of one they loved. Pray your blessing on all beginning at this time for those who will be commissioned to ministry as scripture teachers, as youth workers, as lay readers, as lay leaders. We pray for those who will take courage and cross church thresholds today. that they may encounter in your people your presence and welcome. We pray for those who are ill with COVID-19. Those whose needs are known only to you, those we carry in our hearts, those who will die this night and those whose witness we hold ever before us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Come to visit us, Lord, this night, so that by your strength we may rise at daybreak to rejoice in the resurrection of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs> 